This is the most exciting and entertaining semi-final I've ever seen. And this is the Hachiyoshi semi-finals for the women. Who will go into the finals? Goodness, I think this is going to be an, an insane and entertaining spectacle because there's some otherworldly climbing moves that are like coming out in this uh, semi-final, especially from like Rook Rabbitsu and Natalia Grossman and I Mori as well. Will she be able to make it to the finals and secure her position as a dominant climber in the women's circuit? She doesn't top this. She's not going to the final. This is do or die. This is Futaba Ito on women's one. This is the semi-final of the Hachioji Boulder World Cup. And what a way we start. This is an amazing semi-final. The roots look super cool. And we're starting out with this slab. I can't wait what I I can't wait to see what I Mori does. But Futaba Ito already coming in with her right foot on a small jib. She's thinking of leaning into the right volume. Now the root setters did say that they wanted this to be a little bit more of a no hands climb, but Futaba Ito really kind of palming and press. I call this move an like arrow archer move. Kind of makes her feet across. That doesn't look uh, really hard, but that's really tough because your body is like balancing on just like two feet. Now she moves, makes a choice to kind of slip up into this zone. Now this is a really slopey, slopey zone because. Your left hand is like basically on not much and this is her first attempt but her right foot is on this really tiny tiny slopey jib it's even actually dual text you know and she has to kind of kind of marksman to two fingers and do two small pockets <laughs> I actually visited uh, Korea and I visited one of the whole manufacturers and he said like, a lot of holes are being ordered from Taiwan, from China, Shanghai, from Hong Kong. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. She has to go with right hand, left hand crossed into this. It looks like, it doesn't look like a good hole, but she makes it look so easy. Now in this underclean zone, she has to find a way to manage to the top. The top hole looks kind of a new hole to me. I'm not very familiar with it. She gets a right heel hook. She thinks she's choosing to get a stone. And does she bump straight away? No, she actually moves her right foot a little bit closer to give her a little bit leverage. So she can't see where the good part of the top hole is, but she manages to do oh sneak in a cool toe hook and the zone to stabilize herself. Uh, she has 40 seconds left on the clock. Um, she could squeeze in another attempt after this, um, but it is quite unlikely. So this might be her last attempt at the top. Now Futaba Ito really needs to secure her position to go into the Olympic selection process. She did win like the Boulder World Cup in Japan uh, recently which you can watch in this channel. But uh, right now, oh she just seems to be struggling with here in yeah this is her last attempt. 10 seconds left, that's really heartbreaking for Futaba Ito. Now Aimori has returned. She actually wants to do well here, even though she did win the Boulder League Cup uh, Japan, um, which is like the combined Olympic format. Uh, you know, she wants to be able to compete well in this like Boulder World Cup circuit because well she needs to have more experience on competition walls. She hasn't been in the IFSC competitions for four years uh, previously before last year. So, oh my goodness, she's. Actually, one of the smaller climbers, and her ape index isn't the greatest. And she's actually trying to make this work. She's actually stepping through very similar to Futaba Ito using this archer style move. She's very deliberate with her footwork, and very interestingly, she places a lot more emphasis on the toe. Oh, she goes for this whole jib on her right first before standing up. Oh, she's trying to reach for that lip, of, lip of the slope, but it is reachable and it is some kind of purchase there but she doesn't seem to be able to be able to reach it how is she going to figure out to get her standing on her left foot and get her right foot on her oh my goodness what is this move this is like a, like a backwards reverse underclean press wrap super interesting to see Aimori always figure out interesting moves her body positions and hands the way she uses her hands and feet are so different compared to any other climber even though her right foot position now is kind of like inverted a little bit against the hole she looks extremely stretched out here but how does she choose to go to the right jib? And it looks like she's trying to step across, but this is like a very spinny, spinny move. Oh my goodness, she manages to pull herself up and land the right foot hole. Aimori is not known to be a dynamic climber. So I think, oh my goodness, she's actually staticking this. Goes mono with the right finger. Oh my goodness, this kind of match. It was insane. Oh my god, the way she does things is always so different compared to everybody else. 
That's a crazy beta. I, you wouldn't think this was like easily static, but no, she gets a mono with her middle finger first before matching with support with her left toe. Incredible climb from Hopefully we get to see. This is a little bit of a replay here. She goes right hand here. How does she hold the swing? Oh my goodness. Oh, she gets a right toe hook underneath the, the start. That is so creative. But she, I think she still needs to pop up to this. Yeah, she still needs to pop up to that. But wow, that's really interesting. You know, it's always cool to see if Kramers break the beta. Let's see if she does it again. She comes in for this uh, running start jump. This jug is angled in a weird awkward position, but in a good position enough that Ryo Nakagawa can make use of this statically. It is quite physical, that right toe hook isn't the best, but the bicycle with the left hole is pretty good. So she comes in with the match on this um, hold, which is to the underclean on the zone. Now she tried to go Gaston to the purple uh, hole like um, similar to Zero Law did, but I don't, I don't think she can really find a very good position for it. Yeah, she's almost like a little bit too tall on top of the purple hole. Now Sofia Yokoyama is out and she's on the semi-finals, so really stoked to see her in the semi-finals. Um, she's trying to... Yes, okay, now she, her ankle positions a little bit better with the left foot, allowing her to pull herself a little bit slightly with the left foot, bringing her right foot over. Now this is the tricky bit, this is the crux. How is she going to reach? Oh my gosh, she actually looked really good. 17 seconds left. This is her last attempt. Um, and I think she scores this top. She looks quite smooth going up to here. Come on, come on, Sophia. She's going to match on the green. Go! Oh, she actually could hold the left hand, but I think maybe... Ah, that maybe just didn't really give her the enough everyone. commitment to go two fingers in deeper enough. Mori now on women's two. Now, I Mori does struggle with a little bit of the highly complex or super swinging dynamic movements. And let's see if she can figure it out. Oh, she looks like she got a lot of good momentum, but I think she landed a bit, landed a bit awkwardly with her left foot. Um, this women's tree should be a relatively straighter forward problem. I love this cool monkey rose move here. Oh, okay, she tries a figure four. Um, bumping? That's really interesting. The other climbers just swang for it a little bit. Rinakagawa pressing with the right foot. Beautiful climbing here. She almost looks as if she's done this several times before. Oh no, she slips with her left foot. Oh. Futaba Ito now on women's four. This is a really burly, technical, uh, slopey like, route. Like, this is steep. This part of the wall is probably the steepest in the whole competition. Um, beautiful right toe heel hook there. Manages to catch the zone. Come on, Futaba Ito. Slaps up into this volume here. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's a heel almost over her head, but it's too bad on that side. She somehow. Oh my god, that's even worse than I thought. That's slow, but oh, she might just get two hands. The right foot position looks really good. Oh, can she try to left heel again? Oh my god, can she crawl up to this crimp? Oh, she actually sticks it four fingers in. Come on, from Daba Ito. Come on, she's trying to press up quite dangerously with the shoulder. Can she reach the top? Oh my god. Oh my goodness, Futaba Ito, that is a huge effort. My gosh, that sloper looks even worse up close. Um, her right left heel is actually looked pretty good. I, oh, she just didn't really have enough in her to reach the left. That top hole is super bad, they're all slopey. Oh my goodness, definitely going for this coordination bit. They do seem to be able to generate good momentum, it's just that the transfer of energy is is the what's very very important in this whole uh, bold up. Futaba Ito now with one minute left on the clock goes for this left hand crib, manages to get her right foot into the back tune tuna. She creates has she enough space to slap her left hand again. This is her second round. I think she's more accurate with the left heel this time. Crawls up a little bit more. Can she get all oh, three finger drag? Can she kind of secure she looks like she's struggling oh no the rotation the left heel i thought it would look pretty good oh but it popped off last second and she has 30 seconds left i think she might give it one more go sophia you come out she looks really good the transfer of energy look very nice going to the volume but oh, just not enough camilla moroni now 20 seconds left on the clock now camilla moroni she has has she got the zone yeah she has already got the zone in uh i think i believe the first, first attempt oh my goodness oh my god Oh my god, did she just hit her abdomen on the volume? Oh, that's tough. I'm already on women's tree. I'm already didn't top women's two, so it's quite important for her to do women's tree. Women's tree looks like 
one of the easier toppable boulders here so oh i'm already should be able to do this um she just looks like her style up to the final final uh, move the final move is definitely not her style but um over here she has she have no problem she's almost so monkey like in a way but in a human way i don't know how to else to express it that way uh, but i just decide to swap feet here goes right hand uh to manage to swap feet again bumps the left hand a little bit higher now she's eyeing the top but this is where i am always starts to like to kind of fancy her way across oh well, she's almost thinking of her undercling on that super volume i think that volume is a little bit sorry that links volume that links volume is a little bit too slopey underneath Oh, so it's quite well designed actually um but she's oh uh, she tried to go slap and left really cool i'm already oh, oh my goodness what, where, where is she how did she get here in the first place oh my god how did she get up there she ends up going to to no man's land oh no, it's just not enough i think if her fingers could just literally reach another centimeter to the left she would be already Lashing onto that, she's already on it again with 20 seconds left on the clock. This is probably her last attempt. She is suffering from fatigue, but I'm worried, as we know, she doesn't really get tired too much. She might get flash pumped a little bit. Oh, she matches, goes left on the cling. She, oh, that's how she gets to no man's land, but this is such an awkward position. She finds the pocket with the right toe. Oh my god, is she gonna lock up all the way? Oh my goodness, that left hand. Cream is so bad. That hole is actually a sloper. It's basically not meant to be a hole. It's meant to be a little, little jib on the volume. The way she's using it is like a normal crimp. Oh my no, no, Hakume now. She actually manages to get across the first part, tricky part. Can she figure, figure out? Uh, can she figure out her way to the zone? Doesn't seem to employ the knee bar here. And attempts for the layback position. Goes for the left hand zone. A little detail with the right toe hook there, if you could spot it. Really nice climbing. Now the edges of those tunas are actually double tacked, so they can't creep all the way to the end. No, no, Hakumi should be familiar with these Bluefin tuna volumes because she is from Japan. Oh, she's actually choosing to go on the dual text of her right hand. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's interesting. Um, can she figure out this dynamic move or she's just going for the static move? Yeah, she goes dynamic. No problem, Sophia, Yoko, Ayama. Manages to top a bowler that I Mori couldn't top. You know, all women's too will she be able to get this coordination move? Oh, she is so close. She almost stuck it. Over to the right hand side first. Yeah, Camilla Moni. Will she be able to stick it? She, oh, yes. Yeah, she tries slower this time. She goes a little bit more slower, a little bit more deliberate. Uses the right hand hole. Can she top in just 13 seconds? Left hand across. Will she be able to figure out this tricky, tricky top sequence? 7 seconds. 6, 5. She's attempting to go straight forward. She has no time left. Oh, no. That's so close. The time was a factor for her. Mia Krampo from Slovenia right now. We don't see uh, Janja Gambret in this competition because she's still suffering from her uh, you know, foot injury or ankle injury. So she's still recovering. She chose not to climb in this one. Hopefully we see her um, in the next World Cup, maybe in Seoul, maybe in Europe. Um, but now Mia Krampo here. She's uh, looking quite okay, quite steady. Now, does she choose to go for the archer press? Yes, I think she's thinking about it. She doesn't look like she wants to go for the foot swap. Um, no hands beta. Oh, she's actually using the left foot on the left yellow hole first to go nice and slow and steady. Okay, come on, Mira Grumble. Uh, doesn't look like a very balanced position. You need to commit your left hand across. Yeah, okay, she looks like she's deciding to do the swap feet method. Oh no, she's actually going to cross and stand on the volume. Okay, very, very delicate section here. She makes it work. Wow, it's incredible footwork. She doesn't make use of the jib. She just stands on the volume. Incredible slap climbing ability. I love this. The side to come in for the press. Doesn't use the... Oh, okay, off to use the holding for leverage she uses it as like a thumb down okay okay she chooses to bring her left foot across instead of weighting her body on her feet now she's a little bit tied up in this position she still needs to oh yes she manages to get across very well now comes the big crux does she choose to go static as she has done all throughout this boulder so far or does she aim to arrow through with two fingers into two tiny targets 
Can she? Oh, she's actually pressing her body weight on her own right foot. What a beautiful sequence by Mia Crumple. So steady and slow. Wow, that is amazing. What a beautiful display of slap climbing right there. That was intricate. That was delightful. Who says slap climbing can't be great? And enjoyable. That was thoroughly enjoyable. Slow. Ayamori here couldn't really figure out how she gets across. I'm so scared for Ayamori because she has to top women's four. She only has about 45 seconds left to do this. She did not top women's three, which is kind of like I would say the easier boulder. She only has one top in her portfolio in this semi-final. But in order to advance to the finals, she needs to be able to hit this women's four top. Does she choose for the knee bar? I don't think she can go for the knee bar because she's a slightly smaller climber. She opts for this lay back under cling position. Oh my goodness, she's really fighting everything she's got. This is all the whole sloper is so bad. And I don't think she has enough time. Oh no, she's going again. I don't think she has enough time. She knows it, but this is just going on instinct. This is just for revenge, personal revenge. But she doesn't have enough juice in the tank. We might not see Aimori in the finals, guys. We might not. Oh, trash. Sofia Yokohama managed to get into the bluefin. Come on. Oh, come on. She sticks the grip. Oh, powerful tank. I know she gave that everything she had. She has one top, which is women's tree. If she can find this top here, she would be in the finals. She does slap onto the sloper. Can she figure out a nice position? She'll go to the top. Oh, the crimp is too far away. Her right foot might be, have been too high. Yokohama might be her last attempt. Oh, okay. Maybe another more? <laughs> we'll, we'll be, it'll be one more last good attempt for her because there's not much time left. There's like 35 seconds left on the clock. Kimberly Maroney now on Women's Tree. I'm surprised she hasn't really got this yet. This would be her. Oh, she doesn't seem to be able to lash the toe hook quite right. And I think she decides to move on. Now, Sofia Yokama as well decides to move on as we did see her walking off. So, Kimberly Maroney now from Italy matching these two. This is this, this, I can't I can't pronounce these tuna holes at all. She manages to get left hand grip, bumps out the right hand slope, but now this is the crux. How does she match her hands? Oh she manages to do it, gets enough purchase. She chooses to go to right foot. Oh, okay, adjust. Yes! Come on! Come on, Miller! Come on, Camilla! Left heel just like Futaba Ito, she's actually locking off very high. I think she has a good chance. Camilla <laughs> Maroni now. Uh, she is choosing to go for this layback into this tuna. She has no top, so she definitely needs a top here in order to contend herself into a good placing just to, you know, be even considered for the final. She is grabbing this right cream. Come on! Come on, she's- Oh no, her left foot slips! The left heel is so tricky because it's so slopey and it's so high up. It's way above your head. Oh, Hannah Mill now. Into the zone, we should be able to figure out the top. I don't really think so because uh, she doesn't seem very confident. But if anybody could do it, it would be with these scarpa shoes. <laughs> if any shoe could do it, it would be the scarpa shoes. She looks like she wants to press up just like Aimori. Yes, yeah, she's doing the static way. She's doing the Aimori way. Come on, Halamil. All drops need to get the. Oh, beautiful way to do it. That's very, very cool. An elegant style to drop knee, kind of like almost like a reverse heel hook onto that volume. Now we have the woman of the hour, Natalia Grossman, coming in. She did top almost every single boulder. No, she did top every boulder in the qualifying. Yes, she did. She opts to go for this slightly slower archer press move. Can she fix her feet across? Also, she's choosing to swap foot on a jib instead of just. Matching across, in the end of the day, she ma manages to make it work. She's very, very careful with the right foot, just adjusting it quite nicely now. Now, does she choose to pop up to the undercling or does she choose to go to the foothold? Looks like she could reach for this, this undercling zone. And she's opting to... Oh, she needs to find her position on her left hand. The other climbers did some kind of weird rap. She, Oh, she doesn't need to. Her fingers are so good on the slope. Oh my goodness, she actually makes it work. We tried to see the other climber trying to do this with previously by kind of like releasing her weight off, but they didn't really work for them. But Natara Grossman so strong, she's able to do it. Now she's stabilizing with her right thumb pressing down into this foot hole. You know, you gotta consider the sweat on it though. Um, but hopefully she's. All good. She looks fairly at home here. She tries to go to the top. Will she be able to make it? Oh, she doesn't flash. 
Okay, okay. Looks like she learns. I think if she kept her left hand, uh, the way she does that, it would be too far for her. We have not seen that's too successful yet. So you need, she needs to kind of find a pressy option there. Okay, Jessica Pills. I think we go for this knee bar. This knee bar has worked for some Japanese climbers, but it's very tricky to match your hands across because, yeah, it takes weight off your hands. And you need weight on your hands to be able to hold slopers. They're very counterintuitive hold type. Now, Hana Milna, in a little bit of awkward body position, can she find the positions right? This is a really interesting position for her. Oh, she opts for this cool, cool drop knee, but she doesn't opt for the Gaston. She instead wants to go Gaston from high above instead. She could choose to go straight and it looks like she might be doing that. And oh no, she doesn't really get the right momentum. I think her right heel may have been a little too stuck to get to the left side a little bit. Hanamiyo now on women's two. She needs this. She needs this top. This is only her second boulder, but beautiful. Wow. She actually chooses to left foot on the first starting hole instead of two matching on the right. I think that's the right way to do it in order to transfer your weight and energy correctly inside and then out again very very well done Hana Mio. she looks super comfortable with this now she didn't manage to top earlier but she looks like she has learned something she opts to go with the right heel again it is a little bit stuck for her she's choosing now to go for the guest slot instead oh no 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 she changes her mind she's gonna go again oh no she did try but ah oh, she opted back to that first solution Bella Grossman now isn't giving up just right off yet. She's kind of almost rushing this a little bit because she knows the most important part is the top section. Now, Ayamori did manage to top this. Now, Bella Grossman has six seconds left. But, uh, yeah, she didn't really quite figure out that zone section. Now, Bella Grossman now on women's two doesn't catch it on her first few attempts. Uh, Brooke Rebel 2 now making her way into women's one. She's unleashed into the fray. A very interesting way how she got to that uh, right foot position now. But Brooke Rebel 2 looks like she um, you know, is in form this season. It looks like she this could be her season to well, maybe live above Natalia Grossman. She's always been slightly right behind Natalia Grossman. But now she ranks a little bit better coming in from the qualifying. I know coming in from the qualifying doesn't seem much, but this give a good a, a good confidence boost. Now, Brook Rebel 2 now. She wants to go for this archer press move. Yes, she is not... She is kind of onto shorter climbers, but that isn't too lanky out for her. Um, I just now need to swap her foot with her right hand. Does so nicely. She's one of the only climbers bringing her chop back with her. <laughs> really interesting to see. Okay, now she pops up to this underclean. Um, does she does she fall to the trap? Yeah, she, she's falling for it, but I think she will know better after feeling the position out. She yes, she makes it look okay. Oh, she doesn't seem to be able to get the right hand stable enough. Ah, uh, looks like she might be trying a different method. She looks having trouble with the right foot. Oh, she's trying all sorts of interesting ways. What is this? What did she just do? Oh my goodness, she almost kind of pressed the volume a little bit with like this inverse and oh no, she rushed a little bit just she after that victory. Oh. Wow, that was insane, that was so weird. Uh, Grossman now on women's two. Oh, she actually gets this under clean quite nicely but doesn't manage to have enough juice for the extra right hand bump. Now, Brooke Rebel two. I don't think she completely figured out that section there. That was almost a little bit unearthly, un, un otherworldly kind of technique. So, but Rebel 2, oh yeah, she's... It looks like she really like gave it her... She almost had superhuman intuition in that first few attempts. But after that, you kind of ran out of intuition brain juice a little bit maybe. But here with the boulder, um, Loa leading the way still with two tops. She made those boulders work uh, very nicely. Hana Mil actually on two tops as well. So looks like I Mori is getting further down uh, the line for the finals. I don't think I Mori might survive uh, this semi finals. This Japanese climbers might not survive the semi finals. So very, very interesting. Almost slight upset for the Japanese climbers here, but because the European climbers are taking taking charge in the semi finals. American climbers, though, do seem to be struggling a little bit on the slab. Book Rebel 2 couldn't really find her leg swap and she's immediately back on again because I don't think there's much time. 
No, we do want to see a top on women's four. It has not been topped yet. It has been zoned many times. The top has been attempted a couple of times. But, oh man, it's a little bit tricky with the top. She's... Oh my god, come on, Selma. This Kaima from France, will she be able to slap on top? Oh, it's just too difficult for her. Right now, we have Anon Matsubushi on women's one. She came in rank one. And so... I see her on the slab. She did already fall uh, once or twice already. Now, she, does she opt to foot swap or does she opt to transfer her weight? Oh, I see she just kind of slipped trying to do a foot swap. So that is really tricky slab. Not many people flashed it. Oh, very, very close for Ayala Karem. It, oh, the camera's kind of cut. But this is Ayala Karem now on the top section on women's two. Not many people figure out here uh, because like the first part was so tricky and now the second part is even actually even trickier. Um, how was she able to kind of caress away? Oh my gosh, she actually sticks on the undercut with the left hand, gets towards the right. Oh, I think she found out the beta of this. This is so good for her. Oh no, I thought she had it. I thought she had it. That was so creative, being able to have the mindfulness to look back for the undercling. Oh, and the crowd knows it. But actually, the crowd is watching Anoma Sufuji. Yeah, the crowd is just watching Anoma Sufuji. <laughs> Sufuji now. Uh, will, what will she change differently? Only one minute left on the clock. She has to make a choice. Um, the choice is hers alone. She has to figure out. I think she's opting to go for this foot swap again. Oh, doesn't make it work because... Oh, she tried to like lean back down to sink her hips in to be a bit more stable, but I don't think she has the right opposition. She hasn't seemed to be able to be trying any other betas. There's lots of betas there. The arrow beta, the no hands beta. Oh my goodness, Ayala Karem makes it look so powerful, but makes it work. That whole seems to be pretty good. But the undercling is just right out of the nice spot you will use to go for the top oh so the tricky toe hook she's in this familiar position again will she be able to figure oh Matana Grossman now coming into this swinging oh she's actually chalking up while swinging okay okay dude all right she hasn't had a top so far so she does need a top here it's a very topable boulder lots of climbers have already topped it unfortunately Aimori hasn't topped it did not top it and that's why she might not be able to reach the final Matana Grossman Stopping it here. Oh, she actually didn't even reach the zone on women's two. Oh my goodness. Oh, she really needed that. Okay, now we have Nona Kamiho, also co rank one, coming into this um, semi final. She did incredibly well in the qualifiers. She topped all the boulders. No, Nona Kamiho, I think opting for this archer press beta. Let's see how she decides to do decides to swap feet instead. Oh, manages to stabilize herself. She looks like on fire in this competition and I really want to see her medal for a gold. I have not seen her medal for a gold before, ever. Um, I don't remember a time of seeing her medal for a gold. Usually Yanya Gambrat, Natalia Grossman, somebody like that, like taking the gold. Miho Naraka is always like a bronze in, bronze medalist position. So I really want to see Nonaka Miho shine. This could be her time, especially when she needs to fight for a position. Oh. She needs to fight for a position in the Olympic team or Olympic selections for Japan because it's so competitive. I already already got the spot. Uh, Anna Masafuji got the spot. So Nonaka Amigo has to do very extremely well in his World Cups to get the spot. Now we have Brook Rebel 2 coming in, also using Mews of the Undercling. And she re Oh, she's actually trying to reach, but it's too sloppy at that section. Yeah, the bottom section is too sloppy, only the top section. Even then, I don't think it's that great as well. Oh, I don't know how the other athletes managed to top this. Only a few, few athletes did this. Brook Rebel 2 do. Taking her time. Um, she's actually doing a three finger drag instead to get an extra reach. She's trying to move on. Oh, I think it's just a little bit too far, but she looked really, really good. Miho Nanaka with a Coca Cola chalk bag out for this archer press. Okay, so she be able to get it. She, so she looks quite comfortable with this. The foot swap isn't the most elegant in the world, but she makes it work. Gets her right foot there. Her 5'10 high angles. Chops up with the left hand. She has yet to figure out how to kind of meander the zone across. Oh my goodness. Looks like her right foot hole is getting slippery and slippery. This is top. Now, Hanamiyo. On, this is Hanamil? Yes, it's Hanamil. On women's four. So she's already at the top of the pop, top of the leaderboard. But I really want to see her being able to secure this women's four. She also with the Niba beta. Manages to, to twist her hips in to get the slope. Oh, man, that zone is so tough. Uh, I, think, I think she might consider just 
just resting because I don't know, think she I don't think she knows she's at on the top of the leaderboard. But she should be fighting anyway. Oh come on, programmer too! She did it! Oh my god, it looks like the top of that hole is pretty good. And she manages to secure it. I thought it was a hype problem, but no programmer too shows that hype doesn't matter, it's all about the heart. <laughs> Nanaka Miho. Uh, standing and reaching across. I don't think there's much time left on the clock. Probably only about less than 40 seconds on the clock left. We can't see it because of the scoreboard, but it's about 40 seconds left on the clock, I assume. Nohana Miko has to be able to figure this out. She has to get a top here in order to have a good start for this. Oh, she doesn't seem to get her weight across well. 15 seconds on the clock, I think she has to call it. Her hopes that Women 2 is the boulder for her. Brook Rebel 2 looks really strong. She seems to have choose to slap with one hand. I think she needs to go with two hands. Your sex will, the, the, the success has been more with two hands. Uh, I'm not Master Fuji now. I got Tricky Women's 2. The swing is kind of putting her in a weird position, but she looks- Oh, Homer makes it work! Oh, wow, that was so smooth. Well done, she's so talented. She has been in the Japan scene very, you know, a couple of years, quite often, and she's always making it to finals. She never actually, like, took over the whole scene. Oh, slight delicate tofu on the underclean. She built the top. Oh my gosh, she's looking so strong. She didn't really do much on the first boulder, but this second boulder is her style. All stars are right now on the boulders. Miho Naka Women's 2 and Natalia Grossman on Women's 4. Brook Rebel 2 on Women's 3. Brook Rebel 2 looks incredibly talented and on form. She did some other worldly movement on the slab. If you watched previously, she's making this rose move. It looks super easy. It isn't too difficult for her. Very nicely catches with two toes on the toe hook. Making very efficient movements here. This is something that she looks really good on. Ah, oh, her second doubts on that crimp. Oh, wants to go left. Um, Aimori did this, it was okay for her, she didn't find a top though, but Brook Rebel 2, oh my god, what an interesting flash, she is insane, she is on form, she is on form in this competition, well done Brook Rebel 2, that is so good. Natalia Grossman though, I do want to see a top women's fault, anybody could do it, she should be able to do it, I think she did give one attempt. So Brook Rebel 2 comes up like this, oh, this is what I am already wanted to do, but I just couldn't execute. Brook Rebel 2 looked, had, she looked like had, had a flow towards her, she had the nice momentum going in. But speaking of momentum, Moiho Nanaka really need the right kind of momentum. Look, she's kind of swinging out facing the wrong direction, that's how tricky this hold is. Oh, this she, uh, she looks like a pendulum going nowhere. Oh. I don't think she sees the movement going into the wall and coming back out again. Looks like the coaches are slightly disappointed with her decision there. <laughs> okay, so Grossman making her way to the two tuners. She's actually bumping left high a bit. Wow, this structure is so cool. They're putting a right toe hook there to get a better advantage point. She's actually clamping down the tuners instead of putting her right toe into the tuners, but that doesn't give her enough leverage. Now, Natalia Grossman literally just took like a two minute plus rest because this is her final attempt. Like, if she doesn't top this, she's not going to the final. This is do or die. I love this structure from her. Can she reach the zone? She has no problem with it. The problem is with this grim, that second penultimate hole. She's trying to match the two now. Will she be able to do it? She's, oh, she's going for this drop knee style. No obstacle for the clamp again. Oh, no. We might not see her in the final. Natalia Grossman does not make it to the final. I know, Miho no Nakana on women's too. She goes, she looks, she doesn't look like she's sinking into the volume a little bit. She's a bit too hard on her feet. And that's it for Naka Miho, and that's it for Natalia Grossman. Oh my goodness, what a semi final. Coming in now into the zone, we see our finalists up there Hana Mio on first, uh, Loa on the second. But Anon Wastafushi, she will join them if she gets the to top. She chooses to go again on the high part of the volume. But she slips. Yeah, she's choosing to not stay on the jib. She wants that extra leverage on the height. But I don't think it's the right decision. Let's look at Anon Wastafushi. She goes for this higher part of the volume. And she makes it this time. So good. Now, uh, Brook Rebel 2 on oh, Women's 4. She's already through to the final, I assume, with two tops. This is for glory. We want to see a top on women's four in the semi-final. Looks like a heel hook. Looks pretty good. Oh my goodness. That's a really scary heel hook. But at the same time, so slopey as well. One minute left on the clock. Come on, Brook Rabbit 2. Will she be able to do it? She's swinging her arms. She's 
powerful. She looks very on form. Her body look amazing. Her structure looks amazing. Like she looks super into it. She's finding the flow zone. She looks at how precise her right hand comes in. Her left foot swings in over her head. She gets the crimp again. Will she be able to find it? She adjusts her left heel hold to make space for the top. Come on, press. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Oh my goodness. What a valiant effort from Brook Rabbit 2. We will see her in the finals though. Unfortunately, Nutella Guzman did not make it, but Brook Rabbit 2 for the USA is in. All right, Miho Nanakao. She is the final climber out on this women's fall. And will she be able to make the final? I think she definitely needs at least a top here. But whatever she does, she needs to do it with her heart. She needs to find power and dig deep. She's matching this volume very nice and controlled. Probably the best we've ever seen so far. She's kind of going to the zone. Yes, she makes it into the zone. Slaps under the volume. Oh, oh, she doesn't feel like she has the rhythm. Oh my god, she's stuck. She hung on with two hands. She cut loose. Oh my god, will she be able to talk? Oh my god, she's so wow, she's so strong. Oh my goodness. She looks, she kind of dangled with two hands under that crazy sloper. Oh my goodness. That is disgustingly strong. Oh, oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, what kind of positions are those? So Mio Nanaka needs to top this. For sure, she definitely needs to top. She's, yeah, she desperately needs it because if she does not top, she will not make it to the final. But we have not seen anybody top this women's four yet. But she did look very, very good so far. She's probably the most controlled coming into this section here. Uh, apart from Natalia Grossman. But Natalia Grossman did not manage to talk. She was very close. So Miho Nanaka is coming up here. She, come on Miho Nanaka. She needs this. Nobody has topped this yet. But if you, if you believe in Miho Nanaka, slap the like button now. Come on Miho. <laughs> Nobody has figured that part out. Oh, that's so heartbreaking. 